Hi there, Richard the Dick Coughlin, triple zero, how are you? This is going to be a video response to uh, TJ, the amazing atheist, but on his TJ Does Life channel. TJ is talking about arguing on the internet and why bother doing it. Well, here's the thing TJ, I, I saw that the Reddit thread and I read all the stuff that you said to this woman who was apparently a rape victim. Now, I appreciate that it's not fun or not, it's an underhanded tactic to say the least, when someone claims to be a rape victim or someone uses the fact that they were raped to gain leverage over someone. What you need to do though, TJ, in that time, at that moment, is to walk the fuck away. Let them be. Because you can't expect necessarily rationality to come out of someone who is a rape victim in a debate about rape or a discussion about rape. It's just not going to happen. You shouldn't really expect rationality from most people in that. What you did, TJ, was you said to this woman that she, you responded in anger saying that she deserved to be raped, that you would rape her with your fist, and that you hoped she drowned in rapist semen. Now, if I was an objective uh, observer of that debate, TJ, I would consider, I would not be on your side. And the only people who would be on your side would be lunatic, misogynistic nutters and closet rapists like the TFL and other extremist MRA nutters. And that really, TJ, is the point you and a lot of people have missed. That when you argue with people on the internet, it's not... You shouldn't do it for the purposes of trying to change the mind of the person you're arguing with. You should do it for the benefit of the thousands and thousands of people who are watching your video, who might be on the fence, who might not be aware of both sides, who might not have heard both sides, who might be sitting there not ready to commit to one way or another. Your video, you get hundreds of thousands of views a video, TJ. They're not numbers, you know, mate. They're people. Those are people on those fucking, those, that little counter at the bottom of the screen. Those are people. That's what you do it for. Let me just show you something, TJ. I won't show you it, but I'm going to read you this. This is a PM that I got just today. Now, I've spent a lot of time, I'm not going to tell you who the user's from, but they, they, um, they sent me this PM today. Um, this is from someone who, now, I've done a lot of videos about the English Defence League, the BMP, etc. Right? Now, I'm never going to change one of their minds, I don't expect to, but here's something you need to know. Hello Coughlin, I'm a long time viewer and subscriber, and I would just like to say thank you for everything. I enjoyed many of your jokes, in particular the David Duke song, but more importantly I appreciated your anti-racism exposing of the EDL slash BNP and other fringe loonies. My brother had joined the EDL as he was confused and believed that they were an anti-extremist group. After showing him a number of articles and some of your videos, and what they, about what they did and still do, he cut ties with the group. I cannot thank you enough for that, as the last time they marched in, in our area, there were a number of arson attacks, the and the implications are quite troubling. Now, TJ, I don't get anywhere near the amount of people that you get on your channel. I don't get anywhere near that, right? You must get PMs like this. That's why you do this. That's why we do this. But that's why you should do it. You shouldn't do this for yourself, for your own personal gratification, although that is quite satisfying. Right? Now, I could turn around to every EDL member um, any time, and I have got abusing with them. Right? But the fact is, there's a limit to how far you're going to go before you start getting, you know, you, you can, you're not going to convince anyone if all you're going to do is sit there and go, la la, you know, I know you don't like feminism. I get that. I personally think you have a different, a, a, a bad interpretation. I think you look at all feminism as bad because you don't, you, you think that it can only ever be bad. The same way a lot of people like Condell thinks you can only be a Muslim and involved in Islam if you're an, if you're a nutter. The same way uh, people think you can only be a Jew if you're some covetous, hook-nosed, gold, you know, enthusiast. Some people think if you're black, you're obviously some big dick, drug-addled criminal with a penchant for rape and AIDS. You know, th th if you're a homosexual, you're obviously some sort of mass paedophile. Now, there's all these sort of ideas that people put out there, 
and you have this with feminism, in my opinion. Now, I'm not going to judge you on what you said. I'm sure you just said it for shock value and to offend the person. And I can appreciate that. But then, if you're just going to offend people, don't be surprised if you get a backlash and then wonder why you're arguing on the internet isn't working. That's all I've got to say. Richard Vizic Coffin, triple zero. Good night, my God be less.